Hello everyone and welcome back to Racing Renegades. Today we will be talking about a charismatic racer in the thrilling world of Formula 1, Daniel Ricciardo. Hailing from Australia, Danny has paved an immaculate way with a winning spirit, charming people all over the world with his skillful driving skills, irresistible smile and a versatile personality. Before we move on to the good news that awaits for his career, let's delve into the background of the Aussie first. So. This Australian racer belongs to the city of Perth and from an early age, he wielded a great passion for racing. His parents supported his talent and nurtured his dream like it was meant to be. At the age of 9, he began karting and quickly showed his innate capacity to become a professional F1 racer. As he moved forward in his career, he started adding many feathers in his cap. From competing in BMW Asia Championship in 2005, to racing for the Red Bull era in 2014, he showcased great faculties of determination, dedication, resilience, and ambitiousness. Because of his cannot-get-my-eyes-off-you personality, he is admired deeply by fans from across the world to the extent of being labeled as the Honey Badger. Alright, here was the intro to our star of the racing world. Now hold on to your seats as we are about to move on to the good news. And that is that Ricciardo has dropped slight hints onto his future through an interview and there seems to be a huge possibility that we will get the chance to see him racing in 2024. Isn't that amazing? At first, we all had faith that the Red Bull era would be his next destination for the racing, but as we look more closer to the principles of each team member from back in 2023, there seems to be a lot of hawking eyes and judging minds as to what future has in store for Danny. To see that, join us along the entire video as we explore the prospects of Danny joining HAAS. And if not, then what options does he look forward to? Now, after two dejected seasons with McLaren, where Danny gained only a single win and lost heart due to failed display of driving skills, his contract with McLaren seemed quite fallacious to him and chances were meek that he would be considered by top-rated companies such as the Red Bull or Mercedes. Therefore, the only options left behind for him were Williams and HAAS, but Ricciardo was not adamant on racing for a team which wasn't capable of battling for wind as his past with the McLaren was quite sordid because in the previous TW seasons of McLaren, people had bashed him for bad results during the driving of MCL 36. It was during 2023 that he had no idea how to drive MCL 36 as the car was built to function in a regressive manner. However, he managed to bury the hatch and moved on. Also, another thing was that while the Honey Badger has potentially prayed to play as a first choice replacement for her stop and when Paris who would be caught lacking, doesn't seem to be a concrete reality and so keeping in that, one might wonder what would be the potential options for Danny as 2024 is just around the corner. Well, fingers crossed, folks. Now, one of the teams that got more captivating is now HAAS. This team changed its duo previously during the couple of many years. More importantly, Ricciardo being a veteran is definitely someone that the team could generously benefit from. And given the fact that they aren't famous for investing a lot of trust and expectation in rookie drivers, as the duo now consists of only two veterans. However, the most interesting part is that Hulkenberg's contract for the year 2024 is not guaranteed yet, and Magnussen is yet to renew his contract. So far as we can see the situation, we notice that the season hasn't really started as it was planned for HAAS. And in order for Hulkenberg to score major points in Formula Rosa 1 race, it had taken 8 drivers to not finish the race. Despite knowing things all along, the situation has now developed into something intriguing. Now, which team will be signing for veteran? Will it be worth the while? Let me know what you think right down in the comments section. Well, if we are to observe based on what we saw and know, obviously Red Bull does not have any intentions to break a huge contract with the Perrys, even though he was a clear threat to the Verstappen Championship after the first two races of the season. And after the Red Bull announced that they have found a great solution for both of its drivers. On the other hand, House can be a good team that could offer Ricciardo a home, especially what Steiner said before the Australian Grand Prix. He was of the view that it's tough to judge who the drivers should be as they are already dealing with Hulkenberg and Magnussen. 
However, nothing certain can be certain of what is said. He wants to give more time and chances to the new driver Hulkenberg and see what comes ahead of it then. You know, there's a saying. Where there is smoke, there is a fire and, without a doubt, Daniel Ricciardo is one of the most attractive, seducing and hottest candidates that HAAS has ever dealt with after the statement where he mentioned a bit of Ricciardo as well. Although Ricciardo had planned something else to do with his life, but now he has to muster up the courage to satisfy what is being offered to him, and that is the seat in a team that can score good points and be rightful players in a midfield if proper guidance will be provided to it by his team. Also keeping in perspective that Ricciardo has sagged $36 million bonus by signing with Red Bull this year, so the next year of 2024 can be taken as a year devoid of any monetary interest but rather a solid reason to emerge again in the field with a competitive spirit of sportsmanship and finally be able to participate for a team which will provide him a chance to be highly competitive. Ricciardo has a great racing experience under his belt unlike Magnussen and Hulkenberg who don't possess the knowledge of the race winning yet. So if there's something that can get HAAS towards the great heights, that would definitely be Ricciardo. We are grateful for the reverse driving he did for Red Bull and the way he was treated for it. Also, the fact that Paris could be replaced at any given point in 2023 still stands tall in a world of possibilities. Now we need to focus on the more realistic approach towards Ricciardo's future. Signing for a team that he could be a number one driver in. He has opened up a bit about his return to the field. He is adamant on being back as he states that he also has spent days without any schedule or exercise. So a change would be good for him, but despite it all, he is not sure. Ricciardo does want to race, but little did we know that he would be that excited about joining in the 2024 season even though he says it's something he wouldn't really want to do in the first place at any cost. He says that he wants to race for the sake of good results and this can offer him opportunities in many directions. Secondly, Tony experience still can give him an opportunity to fill a place in a team of Mercedes with Silver Arrows actually looking to be very disinterested towards a relationship with Hamilton as the seven-time champion is more and more connected to a departure of his team. Russell's performance has too much for Hamilton and, despite blaming it on the setup of the car, it can be evident that he clearly isn't the happiest person in Mercedes. Another fact that can be taken as true is that Ricciardo chose Red Bull as a team to serve as a driver. Is enough for Mercedes to look into another direction and purge something else. So, having said all that, what do you guys think about signing Ricciardo from 2023 onwards and will the Honey Badger be finally be able to find a home with the American squad and lead the team with stolid results for 2024? And therefore be able to curdle his position as a leader in a team, something he failed to do while being in Red Bull? Let us know what you think about this news in the comments section. That was it guys, hope you enjoyed today's latest update. Make sure to like the video and hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel for more amazing updates on similar content. Thank you, and we will see you in the next video. Goodbye!